Hey kitties! So today I am going to be doing a reaction to something that I have been tweeted and YouTubed about and it was been thumbs up and it is called the Yulin Meat Festival. People are like, please do a reaction video on it. Please, you know, look it up, say your thoughts on it and everything. And I do not know why people are wanting me to do this. I have not looked it up. I did see it trending on Twitter a while ago. So if it's something that's like real graphic and gruesome, I'm not gonna show pictures, but let's just Google. I'm gonna hit Google. Let's go. You oh, as soon as I typed in Y U, it said Yulin Festival, Yulin, Yulin 2015, Yulin Festival, Yulin Dog Festival. Okay. Um. Okay. So I just typed in Yulin Festival, and the in the news things that pops up first are secret cameras capture preparations for China's annual Yulin Dog Meat Festival. Um. Despite protests, Yulin Dog Festival starting in China 19 hours ago, um, China's annual dog eating festival prompts social media firestorm two days ago. Oh my god, the pictures. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my goodness. They're okay. If you guys are sensitive towards animal cruelty or anything like that, please do not go on Google. And oh my goodness, there are literally cages this big by this big and there's like 17 dogs in one and they're like stacked on st oh my god i should not have looked at cool thank you guys for okay i don't look at pictures anymore let's read about it okay please shut down the yulin meat festival <sighs> okay i'm just gonna click the first one by thestar.com. China's annual dog eating festival prompts social media firestorm. Animal rights advocates say dogs in Yulin, okay, so it must be like a town or a city or a village or something Yulin is, are stolen from farms and family homes. Many still wearing collars when they are killed. Wow. It's a practice that makes animal lovers ill. Oh my God. Ten, over 10,000 canines are said to be beaten, killed, and cook, cooked for human consumption. Cats, too. Traditional lore says eating dog meat brings good luck and health, but the event has ignited fury for years. So apparently this has been happening for years um, and just sparked a big firestorm recently. Um, is gaining momentum in social media. Yeah, that's what I just said. It's an annual event, too, okay? So, indeed, eating dog meat is illegal in China, but canines are supposed to be raised on farms and certified for human consumption before they are sold. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so, thoughts and feelings towards it? First of all, please do not look at the pictures if you are queasy, or not even queasy, but, like, have some sort of heart or soul. Um, I can't even look at pictures of animal cruelty online. Dogs that are still wearing collars from like family homes are being stolen, taken, beaten, and then just for food. And that makes no sense to me and that is really cruel. Now I know a lot of vegetarians and vegans are probably going to take a big stand against this and maybe have some backlash on what meat eaters have to say. And the reason why I'm saying that is an animal is an animal. A bear is an animal, a dog, a horse, a cow, a chicken, they're all animals. What I don't really understand is when some people, for instance, eat a cow, steak, have a pork chops, bacon, chicken, um, and they eat that every day. They go and order, you know, the dead chicken and eat it at a restaurant. And then later on, they see this festival and dogs, you know, being sold as food, and then it causes a shitstorm. That is one thing that I guess kind of gets to me, and I am 100% guilty in that boat. I have changed my ways in some ways because I used to eat animal products every single day, and now um, I only stick to the weekends but I still do consume animals. I really, you know, have a lot of respect for vegans and vegetarians who can do that lifestyle, you know, full time and who, you know, do do it and stick through it. But I just, it always irks me a little bit when there are people like meat eaters who choose which animals are, you know, better off to be killed, so to speak. I mean, that might sound, sound to say harsh. It's the truth though. It might be a harsh reality, but it is a reality. Like you go to the store and you buy the dead cow, right? You do that. You go buy the steaks or the ham or whatever you buy and then you come home and eat it so when these people are doing it with dogs and people are all like oh my god well that's still an animal it's still something that does not want to die so it is very sad and tragic and I can't really look at that because I don't want to look at that and I have a dog now some people might say like 
well, cows, you know, they're on a farm and they're not really your loving pet. I can understand that argument, how like these, you know, they're pets, they have the collars on and they sit with them and they love them and it's your doggy and you pet them and hug them. But some people love cows in that same way and chicken. To me, a life is a life. When I did make the change in only consuming animal products like Saturday and Sunday and very rarely throughout the week, I have felt better not only like, um, physically, but also my mind, body, and soul. I'm in no way claiming that I am a vegan or I do not eat meat, but I can see both sides of the vegan debate, so to speak, if you guys know what I mean. Like I'm trying to take like a mature aspect on giving you guys my opinion. It's not just like, oh my God, this festival's horrible. And like people are probably like, oh my God, it's horrendous, which it is. But I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, it's horrendous. And then tonight, because it's Sunday, I'm going out for Father's Day supper with my boyfriend's family. Um, I think they're doing a barbecue. So there's gonna be like hot dogs and hamburgers, right? And I'm going to eat one. So I just think it's a little hypocritical for somebody to be like, oh my God, take a stand against this and then go tonight and eat a chicken or a cow or something like that. I hope this is making sense in my opinions to you guys, but I do think it is wrong um, for people to be stealing dogs out of like owner's yards and killing them. I think that is very wrong. I don't understand the whole um, dogs are, you know, good for your mind and body or whatever they said. They're, you know, they make you more healthier, more smarter. I don't really understand that, but the pictures are horrific. I feel like pictures bring it a more, bring them, bring in a more reality when you see the pictures. Like they are not what I wanted to look at. And it's, it is very sad that like so many dogs lives are being ended because people want to eat and just like eat for a festival. I can understand if like, you know, there's a village starving and there's nothing to eat and they need to feed their family. So, you know, the only thing there is a dog. So they kill the dog, you know, there's no plants or there's no vegetation or anything like that. Like I watched a recent documentary on where this family was absolutely starving and they literally lived on like dirt and sand and there was no rain so there was no crops or anything and they only had with them it was chickens in this case there was chickens and then they killed the chickens and ate them for their family and they believed not to um you know end another being's life doesn't matter if it's a chicken or a cow but when they are starving to death they had to they had to go out of their ways to stay alive and help their families so I do see it in that sense, but this sense when they're just capturing like hundreds of thousands or I shouldn't say hundreds of thousands, wouldn't say like 10,000 dogs and just like for fun, I guess, that really is not fun for me to look at. I would never be involved in this festival. I would never go to this festival. I would never go eat a dog. I do think it is just wrong for this to happen and like they look so sad and dogs are so smart, you know, like they're your best friend. I talk to my dog Cooper and he like knows what's going on. Like I tell him, you know, come on, let's go over here. I tell him food and he goes right to his food dish. I tell him water, he goes right to the water dish. I say walk, we're going for a walk. You know, like dogs are like that. Like they know, they sense. I come upstairs, he comes upstairs with me. I mean, other dogs, are like that as well. And this is illegal in China. Well, that's what this website said, it's legal. I do not support this, but like I say, I just feel like it is a little bit hypocritical for me to be like, oh my God, I hate this, hate this, hate this but yet I do eat meat. I would never eat a dog. I would never kill a dog. I would never slaughter a dog. Um, I've never been in the position of being starving to death, but I can almost guarantee that if I was starving to death, I wouldn't kill a dog. I would rather die myself. But again, you can't put that yourself in that position until you're actually in it. So I hope I do not wish that situation on anybody. I will never go here. And uh, if I ever saw that happening, like somebody actually like, stealing a dog out of somebody's yard and then killing it, Nope. That is just horrific to me to think about. Like somebody just taking my dog and then eating him. Because my dog is like, he's our family, right? That's like eating my family member. Okay, no. So people wanted to know my thoughts about this and I didn't even know what it was. So there you go. Not a good time. That kind of put me in a bad, upsetting mood. Hope you enjoy it. And again, if you are underage, if you are sensitive, please do not be looking this up because it is not a good time. And the pictures are quite graphic. And I only looked at about 10-ish and there are so many and it's, oh, and then there's pigs in here. Oh my God, okay, no. There's a picture of like a boiling tub of water and a dog's in it. Okay, well, I'm just gonna not cause it's really not happy to me right now. So I am gonna get going here. I hope you guys do have a great day. 
things like this happen in the world. Things like this happen every day. People kill dogs every day. People kill humans every day. But it is just a harsh reality. And sometimes, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, what can we do to change these things? Things like this are happening all the time. I would never support this in any way. My animals and my dogs aren't for food. So I feel like other people are going to feel like that too. Like, you don't just come in my yard and take my dog and kill it. Like, they still have collars. That's... I'm gonna get going here. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. So maybe that's why, but this dress is beautiful for the summer. Yes, it was pretty low. Like I was like, oh my God, then my boobies are gonna be all out. But there's a tiny little clasp right here and it shows the perfect amount of skin and it does like drape and kind of cover.